Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Allentown and Notre Dame is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Neri Rodriguez coming to you from Lawrenceville for CVC Baseball. 9-4 Allentown off to a great start trying to snap 13-1 Notre Dame's win streak after dropping their opening day matchup versus Steiner. Top one runners at first and second with one out for Slade Harrell. Harrell lines one to center, outfielder bobbles the ball and Allentown sends the runner from third. There's a play at the plate. Save! Redbirds draw first blood. Soon after, bases loaded for J.C. La Cuera. La Cuera bounces one back to the mound. Notre Dame gets the out at home and goes one, but the ball will sail over the first baseman. That scores one. A-Town sends another runner, but this time Monmouth commit Brandon Buecher gets the tag, and that's how the first inning ends. Let's take another look. Very close. Notre Dame would score on a sack fly in the bottom of the first score is 2-1 after one, and then pitching would take over the afternoon. Chase Burrows for ND and Allentown's Eddie Worse going five and a half innings in this one, both teams with new pitchers entering the sixth. Top six following a home run from Rutgers commit Jack Sweeney, man at second for Antonio Dominici. Dominici sends a C to deep left over the outfielder's head. That tacks on another run, A-Town in front, 4-1. Notre Dame down to its last two outs in the bottom of the seventh, loading the bases. Following a pair of walks, the Irish cut the lead to 4-3, which leads to a pitching change for Allentown. Enter Chris Whalen. Whalen trying to work out of the jam, gets called for a balk. That scores another run to tie the game. And Notre Dame now with a chance to win it. After an intentional walk, Justin Prekob with the bases loaded and one out with a tie game in the seventh has a chance to play hero. Good thing he packed his cape. Prekob up the middle will walk it off for the Irish. 5-4 your final. Notre Dame with an improbable win pushes that streak to 14. The Irish come back with four runs in the seventh with just one traditional RBI courtesy of Justin Prekop. He goes two for four with a ribby, but have to give it up for both teams. This felt like much more than a regular season matchup. Rutgers commit Jack Sweeney goes four for four, including a solo home run. We could possibly see these two meet again in the upcoming Mercer County Tournament. Until then, here's Justin Prekop on his game-winning hit. We had a meeting after that top of the seventh inning. Coach said, uh, you know, you guys have been down. Let's pick it up. Three outs to work with. Never know what can happen. And, you know... Here it is. Never know what can happen. Well, believe it or not, you know, they were wild. The last two guys that came in. And I was kicking myself for the, the inside pitch that I didn't take, but he grooved one and uh, hit it up the middle. So I was trying to relax as much as I can, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and it worked. So I think I, I damn near threw the helmet into the stands. So it felt amazing. For Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Neri Rodriguez.